everyone, today I'm going to be doing an Elizabeth Taylor makeup inspired look. My friend on Twitter sent us a photo of her in our more youthful days where she's got a, a lilac towel on her head and a beautiful iconic look. It actually ties in great because it's springtime and every colour in that look is pretty pretty cool. This is like a tribute because I didn't realise she had passed away until I went to have a look at the link. And then I found out, so it's a shame. She had beautiful eyes, I'll tell you that. I'm quite jealous. But anyway, so for foundation, I've used the L'Oreal Magic Smooth Souffle in sand beige to get like an all over colour that's near enough mine. And I'm going to just crack on. I've already done one side so you can have a good look. Um, I'm going to show you a tip as well to make your eyes look more violet if they're very blue. But here we go. So, let's get the mirror in front. I'm trying my best to get a nice background for you, but I don't have any, so you'll have to just bear with us until I get the bedroom upstairs done. Because the sitting room here is done, but the, the lighting's not great. I'm putting on NYX or NYX 614 Lavender. And that's what I'm using all over the eye. When I get to the top, just above the crease, just create a semicircle. I want to just blend that in just a little bit. The good thing about this look as well is that for any age group, any age group can wear it. And any skin tone, it's going to look gorgeous against bronzed skin tones. And fair as well because you're picking some light colours out. For the eyeshadow, I'm using this, I found it, I've been cleaning the bedroom up, I had to store everything away and this is my palette, look, and that's Crushed Lilac and it's very similar to the colour I'm going for so I'm going to pop a bit of that on. I just want a light dust and not a lot and then I'm going to just blend that out just a little way. And you've got your lilac. Now for underneath, I'm going to be using this here, and it's a black pencil, eye pencil. Any will do. This one's by Dior, and I hadn't used it, and I found it, so I'm going to use it today. So just lift your eyeball up like that, and <laughs> lift your eyeball, lift your eyelid. Maybe you zoomed in a bit more. Lift right up, and we're going to pop it under here. I'm going to have to look at the mirror. Otherwise, I'm going to poke my eyeball out and you'll not be able to see any more makeup tutorials by us. That wouldn't be good. So just getting that right in there and it tickles like mad, but it gives a lovely darkened effect. Now on the bottom, I've got this yarn, it's by Lancome and it's an indigo colour, 031 indigo. This is the tip. If you've got blue eyes and you want to make them look a little bit more purpley, like violet, use an indigo mixed in with your black and it will make your eyes pop. It's also good for green and brown. Just having a couple of dimensions of colour going on helps bring different things out. I'm putting that on the waterline and gently just running it through the hairline but not a great deal. Like that, and then I'm going to go back over that with the black one, the black Christian Duo. Any black pencil, any blue, you don't have to have expensive makes. Sometimes you find that expensive ones are actually not as good quality as the cheap ones. So, always look at reviews first, because you'll find some people will be quite honest about the product. And the outer corner, I'm just going to lift that a little, just to give a bit of a cat's eye, but not a lot, and then gently push it towards the upper lid. Now I'm going to put some mascara on. This is a three ball mascara. I can't give you a name of this because it's a sample, but it 
it's really good and you can get loads of mascaras out there that have three balls on them and to be honest I find they work perfect because they get all the lashes and you can also use it for the edges just to pick up the little ones shake your head stuff the brush in and wiggle and then up and out you've got to wiggle you have to wiggle works much better when you wiggle now for the bronzer I'm using Rimmel and this one 021 and it's sun light big foundation brush sorry powder brush and I'm going to just gently bring this down I've been messing about my hand I'm going to do some fun makeup look soon I've got loads of requests from you which I do keep in a log but I haven't done any of my own funny ones for a while and I came on here initially like three years ago and I've done loads of crazy colourful looks and I haven't done any for such a long time and I kind of get sidetracked doing what everyone wants to do but then it all ends up looking the same so I'm going to chuck in a couple of crazy ones because I've been feeling really arty lately anyway <clears throat> Guerlain is it Guerlain? Guerlain someone says think of the Boisson the Boisson video the cream cheese thing to get the French <sighs> So there you go, tint base number two, and this is the meteorites. Get my brush right in there, give it a good twirl. Be careful because once just flew out, they get trapped in your brush look. Just gently pick that up on there. I'm going to stick it right on my nose, but only to smell the Palmer violets, so it's just lush. Mm -mm. Give it more. Just give a nice highlight. It's not the best effect for the price but because it smells so nice I'm going to kind of half and half let them off but there, sh there should be more quality I would say you just don't get enough something with the balls that you're using but anyway little brush because now I'm going to do the eyebrows I'm going back in the kit and I'm using this here it's the Raven Black Liner on a thin liner brush and a bit of Max a showstopper. I'm using this because it's like a dark dirty brown and I want my eyebrows to be really stand out and off we go which one to really darken them out she's got lovely sharp gorgeous dark eyebrows and I think that partially is done on purpose to make the blue and the eye stand out as well. Because it is guaranteed to, it's lovely. They're kind of, um, they're very arched, she's got little arches in the dark. So just play it around until you're happy with the shape that you've got. For the lips. This is cool. This is coral. Now upstairs when I've done this video, I used something similar like this and it ended up looking pink and red and purple on the camera, which I was annoyed about. But this is coral 416. Coral fever. The birds are tweeting. Spring is here. There you go. I am all done. This is my Elizabeth Taylor makeup inspired look. And I really hope you enjoyed. Stay tuned because I'm going to be going wild with some bits and pieces. I wish I had them at hand to show you but I haven't. They're all like um, little paint liner stuff and oh I'm going to have fun. <laughs> you know you tidy your room out and you find stuff you haven't had for ages or you forgot you had. Well, I've got quite a big box of stuff and I'm going to just play it and go crazy and arty and what have you. So stay tuned for that. I really hope you enjoyed my Elizabeth Taylor tribute look. And I tell you what, I'm so jealous of her eye colour. I wish mine were that colour, but we're not. Anyway, we're born with what we've got, weren't we? Anyway, see you in a bit. Zoom, zoom.